It's a service that brings companionship and freedom and mobility to millions of people who are visually impaired. In observance of National Guide Dog National Guide Dog Month, we take a look at the training guide dogs receive. Our Jonathan Cotto receive visited folks over at the Guide Dogs for Texas, whose mission is to provide personalized service to those in need. Judy Sinclair has been legally blind since 1993 and says just the ability to be able to travel independently with her dog, Indy, has positively impacted her life. We trust one another and it's a trust factor, um, you know, and it's just wonderful because a dog is going to see something ahead of time, protect you, and um, you have a relationship with a dog that's just ongoing even after they pass. Guide Dogs of Texas says pups are placed with volunteer puppy raisers until the age of 14 to 16 months. Patty McCulley is a puppy raiser volunteer and has been with her dog Nugget since he was eight weeks old. Giving a dog love, taking it out, um, introducing it to people, the environment, things that a normal person would come across every day. Guide Dog instructor Amy Samora says these dogs bring more than just increased mobility and independence. The dog brings in um, a lot of happy faces and it really encourages people to go up to our clients to engage with them and it brings this whole um, beautiful social relationship as well. Guide Dogs of Texas charges just one dollar for each specially trained dog though the cost of raising and training a guide dog can be as high as fifty thousand dollars. It's just a, a blessing. I, I, I just thank God there was money and there was an availability here in Texas for this dog to be able to be mine. That was Jonathan Cotto reporting. The nonprofit relies heavily on volunteers and donations. For information on both, head to our website, caseat.com.